you there, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 226 of Sonic Boom TV. Uh, this episode is uh, some records that I got off of VC Vinyl on whatnot. Uh, these are my most recent ones. I got them today, actually. Um, I don't have anything else on order, but I will shortly. Uh, coming next week, I'll order pretty big order i think not a huge order but maybe like five records so um because they, they have a lot of stuff on there right now that um i've been wanting to get uh they keep releasing new stuff um the only problem is is that a lot of the stuff that i want is in their higher range now because they their prices seem to be starting 25 20 15 and 10 and still and then there's one thing that I want. It's a box set. It's like 40. Um, 35, actually, I saw today. So, um, But it seems like a lot of the ones I want are in that $25 range. So I'm probably not going to get those. Um, you know, because if I'm going to spend 25 bucks on something that I kind of want, I might as well spend 25 bucks on something that I really want. Um, but when it comes to the $10 ones, I'll probably do, do some of those. Um, but anyway, so... But maybe almost two weeks ago, uh, cause it took a while to, to ship. Um, I ordered a couple, um, they were, two of them were $10 and one of them was starting at 10, but I, I bid it up to 13. But we'll get to that. So let's just start. Uh, first up, I bought this because, oh, that guys, uh, well, it's Aaron Lewis, uh, frayed at both ends. Um, I bought this because Aaron Luce was the singer for Stained, and I knew he did some acoustic stuff, and I really didn't know what this was, and I think it's actually country kind of music, so I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, um, but uh, but it might be interesting. It's two LPs um, featuring Am I the Only One and Everybody Talks to God um, on red and blue vinyl, um, back cover, uh, he um he was pretty good, you know. Um, he got he he got famous probably because of Fred Durst, you know. Um, the uh, from Limp Biscuit, um, you know, finding an interest in him. But uh, but I I think this I don't know. It could either be good or bad. I don't know. Um, but I couldn't pass it up. Ten dollars for a two LP, um, by him. Um, and you know it's worth a shot. So. I'm going to just open these up real quick. Um, this is a gatefold as well. Uh, oh, made in Canada, it says, if you can see that. Um, well, made in Canada. Uh, got this. Opens up into a photo of him. Uh lyrics on this side uh some liner notes over here um pretty cool it's a uh, nice little packaging no no other goodies inside of it but we've got uh, translucent red vinyl with the custom label uh, I don't know what this retails for, but ten bucks for it sounds like a good deal. Um, and then translucent blue vinyl. This is some pretty vinyl as well. So labels are the same. Just shocked me. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. So, um. Yeah, I definitely don't think this is any of his heavy stuff, um, but, uh, yeah, see, they got some country people on here. Uh, they call me Doc, featuring creatives Vince Gill and Dan Timensky, and I know Vince Gill is definitely country, so, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, it, it can't be horrible, because, like, I've heard some, like I said, I've heard some of his acoustic stuff that he did with Stained, and so, you know, it's probably much the same, just, uh, probably more countryfied. as long as he doesn't use a countryfied voice, I think we'll be okay. 
Another one is uh, one that I have on cassette, and I never did get it on CD. Um, but uh, pretty good album, um, from what I remember. I haven't listened to it in years. Uh, but uh, George Harrison, uh, Club Nine. Um, the big hit off of this was I Got My Mind Set On You. Um, it says it was produced by Jeff Lynn and George Harrison. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember too much about this. Uh, when We Was Fab, I think was a pretty good one. Um, I really need to listen to this. But I saw this on VC Vinyl. They had a bunch of George Harrison stuff, and I was kind of putting it off, and now I don't see it anymore. But then I saw this one which came like later and I saw it for a couple days and I haven't seen it again. So maybe they sold out of this too. Um, but, uh, George Harrison, cloud nine remastered for vinyl from the original analog stereo master tapes album replicates design and construction of the original release. 180 gram heavyweight vinyl. And if you guys can maybe see that, uh, it is not a gateful. So we'll just open it up. So again, we've got the cover. Back cover. Oh, I just realized that was a guitar in the jacket. I, th I didn't realize it that's what it was at first. I just thought it was a jacket sitting there. Oh, there's some kind of... I'm in here. So we've got this inner sleeve that the record does not come in. The record's not in that. Uh, but we've got... That's Jeff Lynn right there. Uh, it's George Harrison. It looks like Eric Clapton. Oh, yeah, it's got the names. It says, Guitars and Keyboards by George Harrison. Guitars, Bass, Keyboards, Jeff Lynn. Guitar, Eric Clapton. Piano, Elton John. And Piano, Gary Wright. That does not look like Elton John, but that is Elton John right there. So we got Jeff Lynn, uh, Eric Clapton, uh, Elton John, and that should be uh, George Harrison. That looks like Ringo right there on drums. Oh, Ringo Starr. I didn't finish reading. Ringo Starr drums, Jim Keltner drums, Ray Cooper percussion and drums, Jim Horn baritone and tenor sax, and Bobby Cock. Bobby Cock on cello uh, and that's all these other people so check them out and then the other side is a picture similar to the cover photo um, and just got some special thanks right there if you want to so that came like that and then the record came in a it's polyline but it doesn't feel like very Good polyline uh, inner sleeve, black vinyl on the on the uh, dark horse label. Dark horse label. Um, George Harrison is is you know the Beatles uh, guitar player. Um, I think he was pretty good. I mean he had he had quite a few hits over his solo career. Um, you know he was in the Beatles, so that. You know, right there says he was good if you're into the Beatles. Um, but uh, I really wanted this one because I only had it on cassette. And uh, I may pick up some of the others if they come come back up on there. Um, but for now, this is the only George Harrison solo album, I think. I think. No, I'm, I'm probably wrong. Um, but I think this is the only solo album I have of his on vinyl. Um, I may have one or two other ones that I picked up somewhere. But for now, I'm saying this is the only one I have. And the last one. The one I wanted that, that I I got a little excited when I saw it. Because this this was one of my favorite 90s albums for a while. Um, and, and it's funny because this is the only album I have by this band. Um, but uh, that is uh, Sugar Cult. Start Static. Um... It's, this is the Craft Recordings, uh, includes three bonus tracks, features the hit singles Bouncing Off the Walls, Stuck in America, and Pretty Girl, The Way, uh, newly designed gatefold packaging. So we've got that. 
Um, Sugar Cult was a kind of a pop punk band. Somebody was telling me the other day, my buddy at uh, Dead Broke Records, that they were emo, but they weren't emo. They were just like pop punk. Ooh, and it's it's uh, embossed as well uh, on the front and the back. Um, the uh, I really like this, and uh, and let me see what the the bonus tracks are. Say I'm sorry is the bonus track. No action, and bouncing off the walls live. So we got three of those three. So that's cool. Um, total of fourteen tracks. Uh, go over it again. That light is hard on the uh, yeah, track listing uh, on this. Um, I do have the original CD, uh, and it, I still have the hype sticker, which is kind of cool because I'll, back in the CD days I wasn't keeping a lot of the hype stickers um, but this one uh, pretty cool um, and it it was stuck still stuck to the plastic and it fell off the plastic just peeled right off when I pulled it out um, but uh, this one also says pretty girl the way stuck in America and bouncing off the walls so uh, they should have put this on on the record that would have been cool if they would have re reproduced that um, the only other thing I had by them, which is, uh, it might be kind of rare, I don't know. Um, I got it from Warehouse Records, because I used to always get free, uh, like, dem not demos, but uh, promo stuff. And I uh, got this, and it's got that little hype sticker. That I gotta do something about the lights in here, man. Um, it, it won't focus close in maybe that's me. anyway it says sugar cult as featured in national lampoons van wilder that's probably where i first heard them on that movie um soundtrack and debut C cd start static which i got there and dvd action um never saw the dvd available now at all warehouse uh warehouse locations the warehouse uh record used to be a store you know so we've got Bouncing Off the Walls, which was the biggest hit. Um, How Does It Feel, which is on the album, but I don't know if it's a if it's a regular or a live version because it doesn't doesn't say. Well, it says um, taken track one and two taken from the album Star Static, and the third song is called Killing Me, and that may or may not be live. We don't know. Uh, didn't say. Uh, might as well show the CD while I'm at it. That's that. That's that one. And the start static one. Oops. The start static one just looks like that. We're not here for the CDs and stuff. We're here for the record. Um, the record that got me excited. I paid 13 for it because I got excited when I saw it and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. And somebody else, I bid 10, they bid 11. And then I bid again, and it went to thirteen for some reason. I don't know why it went up two dollars, but it did. Um, and then everybody else after me, because he pulled out more. Uh, everybody else after me got it for ten, and I've never seen anybody pay more than ten since it came out. It, they don't sell it every day, I don't think. I don't see it every day, but I see it enough when I go on there because I'm not going on there every day anymore. Uh, but um, they always sell it for ten, so we've got that back cover it's embossed all the way across uh, to make that broken plug very nice inner uh, gatefold with photos of the band uh, doo -doo -doo, if you're into those guys looking like uh, 90s punk rock band it's got Feels like it's got something still in there, but no, maybe not. Um, so we've got uh, lyrics that are very tiny. I can't even begin to try to read that. If it's even really lyrics, I can't even tell. Yeah, it is. I can make out somewhere. It's it's very very small and very jumbled. Um, it's a bad font for that. Um, whoever laid this out should have 
up that font size. The back side's pretty small as well. Um, I can read this though. Uh, that's liner notes. Uh, Tom Pagnota, vocals and guitar. Marco DeSantis, guitar. A I R I N. Aaron on bass and vocals, and Ben Davis on drums and vocals. And Ben Davis, I think, was in something else. I don't know exactly what yet, but I'm gonna look him up. Here we go. Oh yeah, we got nice, nice label, the logo. I was hoping that was gonna be there. And then on the other side, we've got a band photo. Um, I don't know. I just love that that logo like that. Um, so I, I like that they uh, they added it to the, the label, and I love that it's in the gatefold. It's not on the cover. That's the only thing. It's not on the cover. It was on the hype sticker, which we see. But, oops, but not on the cover. So, um, but it does say their name on the cover, so we're good with that, I guess. Um, but, uh, really excited about this one. Uh, this is, like I said, one of those, one of those 90s ones that, you know, you never think is going to uh, show up. But I think they're starting to realize that there is a market for 90s stuff. I mean, I know they know there's a market for it. But they're finally re-releasing a lot of those things. A little, little time. Um, you know, but uh, definitely more than a few years ago, you couldn't find anything. Now, you, now you're starting to be able to find bands. And you're starting to be able to find stuff that on VC vinyl that didn't sell well I guess originally I don't know I don't know why that wouldn't sell too well I mean they it seemed like they had a pretty good fan base for a while um but uh really cool band um if you like 90s pop punk kind of stuff um you know uh very catchy very catchy uh uh very uh Bouncing off the walls, <laughs> kind of stuff, you know, uh, which is the hit song. Um, but and I'm glad they got the, the live version. I want to hear that. Um, so definitely going to be listening to this tomorrow, um, tomorrow night probably. But um, you know, uh, just one of those albums that I didn't think I was ever going to have on, on vinyl, and here it is. So that's it for this episode. Like I said, I, I don't have anything else on order. I do have enough stuff sitting here to make and do another episode probably this weekend. Um, some old you know, uh, dollar bin kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, next week I will order some more stuff. Um, got to keep it under a certain amount. And then, Oh, I forgot to say, uh, I'm supposed to now, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm supposed to be getting my new shelves next week. I'm supposed to go, um, uh, when I get paid on, I think when Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember what day it is. Uh, I'm going to pay my bills real quick and I should have money left over this time because I have nothing big coming up uh, right now and uh, I should be able to get two more of these I might get three um, but I don't know I got to measure the space that's behind this wall right here I mean behind this camera here uh, because um, if I got three that would give me plenty of room because that I'm not going to fill up the two, I don't think, um, with everything I have, but it will give me plenty of space to to be able to grow, you know, for a while. Um, and then after that, if I get any bigger, more, I don't know what I'll do um, at that point. But um, but we'll worry about it when we get there. Um, but I do have to get rid of the sofa that's sitting there. Um, not sponsored by Subway, by the way. Um, but I just can't wait to get all my records on a shelf. And because once I do that, it creates uh, room other places in this apartment. And it also creates uh, nothing on the floor because I can't stand having my stuff on the floor, my records. Um, you know, I, my CDs are all on the shelves. Um, some are in boxes, uh, but most are on the shelf. Um, and then, uh, then I'll do like a little tour of this area and uh that'll be a fun episode to do i can point out you know kind of what i have in my collection and you know maybe pull some stuff and and maybe get some more interesting shows i do know this though when i do get these shelves back here 
Um, I'm going to, uh, this is all going to flip. So I'm not going to be facing this way. You won't see that TV in the background. You won't see the curtains or whatever that is over there. Uh, and I know sometimes you can see the sofa and I have always have stuff piled on top of the sofa because I hardly ever sit on it anymore. Uh, but all that will be against the back wall. Um, and then there'll be, I don't know if these are going to stay here or move over. The problem with moving it over is there, there's a counter that goes into the kitchen. It's like a, it's like a bar. I don't know why they put that in here, but it's like a bar set up. So it's got a piece that sticks out about that far from the wall. So these things can't sit up against the wall. So I, I don't know if I'm going to move those or not. I might just leave these here and try to get two or three, however many, I know two will fit, but Hopefully, if a third can fit, I can just get all three. Might not get all three shelves next next week, but I'm definitely getting two. When, if I'm if I go, I'm getting two. Um, and uh, and besides that, uh, not a lot. No, there's nothing big coming up uh, or anything like that. I'm rambling on right now, guys. Um, you know, trying to uh, keep it under 30 minutes, and I'm doing a good job because it's only 21. So we could talk for another nine minutes if we really wanted to. Uh, but we won't. Um, so anyway, three great, uh, well, two, one great, one maybe great, and one I don't know record. How about that? Don't know. But has potential. Really good from what I remember. It's been a long time. I do remember. Uh, got my mind set on you. That one just like, the that one gets in your brain and it just stays there. Um, but then this one I consider a great album. So, um, Glad to have him. Talk to you guys later. And uh, signing off, right? Uh. Later.